Hey guys, Garage Max out here. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a trick. Uh, if you've got a dead battery, sometimes it'll just show 0%. Some, sometimes it'll actually have a pop-up in Windows. Oh, there we go, actually. Battery has failed due to normal wear. The battery cannot be charged. Replace the battery. Uh, I'm gonna show you a trick that, that sometimes works for me here, uh, might work for you. Uh, essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to freeze the battery uh, and then we're gonna use a slow charger uh, to see if we can get it to take a charge again. So this doesn't always work, but I figure it's worth it if you guys are kind of, if you have a battery that's on its last legs, you can see if you get some more life out of it. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna shut down the laptop and we're gonna remove it. And as I'm doing this, if you guys like my videos, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you get notifications on my channel. Uh, I'll be posting a bunch of cool stuff coming up here, uh, more laptop videos and some car videos as well. Um, so, so go ahead and subscribe. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll shut this off. We'll go ahead and remove the battery. Okay, while the battery is cooling down, uh, I'm gonna set this up. Now, a lot of times you can actually just cool your battery down. You don't have to freeze it, but you can cool it down, put it back in the laptop, and then just plug it in. Don't turn it on, just plug it in. A lot of times that will work. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit more extreme here, uh, and I'm gonna use this inner core charger here. Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up so that I can just get some leads on the battery. This is just a dead battery. You can use like a wooden dowel or basically anything that will fit in here. Uh, I'm gonna tape it off. I just needed something that was the right size uh, to hold these leads where they need to be. Uh, this is actually a cell that was pulled out of uh, a different dead Lenovo battery. We're gonna use it here as a spacer. So there's our spacer, here's our wire. Okay, I just pulled the battery out of the freezer. It does not need to be frozen. Uh, this was in there for maybe just 20 minutes or so, just to kind of cool it down a little bit. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take my wires here and I'm just gonna put them into the battery charger, just like this. You can see it. And this just holds it kind of like that. Now I've got essentially these two wires, uh, which are going to be used on the battery. Now, if your battery does not have a positive and negative uh, sign on it, you will have to look up the schematic. Uh, mine does, so I know that it's the left, the leftmost and the rightmost, which is nice. Uh, and essentially, you're, you're not gonna try and charge the battery like this. Um, you're, you're really just trying to get a very small, a very small, amount of electricity into the battery, and it, it will just act as kind of like a jump start uh, to, to get the battery going again. So you, you don't need to worry about like holding it in place forever. Really, you just need to make sure that it takes some charge just to start it up. looking pretty dead. Generally, this will light up as soon as any kind of charge goes into the battery. And it's not lighting up at all, which is not a good sign. It either means one of my connections is not holding or the battery is really, really dead. But let's go ahead and see here. Okay.
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it with a battery inside. See, there we go. All right. Let me. Okay. What you guys can see. It's essentially forcing a small charge into this battery. And you don't want to hold it here and charge it too much because essentially what's going to happen uh, is the circuit protection inside the battery uh, won't. Well, it isn't compatible with your charger, most likely. Uh, you, you probably won't blow anything up, but uh, you could fry the board. Okay, so once you kind of let it charge overnight here, uh, you should be able to have it pack bolts and charge. So we're going to see. Okay, so it looks like the battery is holding a charge. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but it's now holding a charge, which is awesome. So uh, obviously if your battery has dead cells, uh, it's not gonna, it's probably not gonna bring back dead cells, but uh, what, it, what it will do is if your laptop has sat for a long time with the battery all the way drained and the laptop's uh, circuit board it has stopped initiating a charge, this process with the, with the cooling as well as putting it on a slow charger should kind of give it that jump start to allow it to charge again. So um, most batteries nowadays are, are relatively cheap, uh, you know, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. But uh, this is a good procedure to try if you've got the materials laying around uh, and, and you want to give it kind of one, one last go before you buy that battery. If you don't have a variable charger like this one, a quick note, is sometimes you can use like a camera battery charger like this that's got the very clear positive and negatives. This one does it at nine volts, uh, which is relatively safe. Most of the, most laptop chargers are, are higher voltage, so, so this shouldn't hurt your battery. Um, the success rate that I've had with this process is uh, much higher on older laptops. Some of the newer ones have a lot of circuit protection built in and, and this process doesn't work. Uh, but if you've got an older laptop, looks like this, this has been pretty lucky, it's working for me. Uh, so you can go ahead and give it a try. I uh, hope this helps somebody. If it does, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.